It is good to see you, sir. Uh, I, try, I hope and trust you're keeping well. Why you, this, this, this new fund is very much, it's, it's very deliberately targeted to entrepreneurs. Nigeria and Africa has a huge number of entrepreneurs uh, and getting capital has been one of the problems. How will this help? Uh, Richard, uh, I'm an exemplar of uh, success in Africa. There are a lot of opportunities on the continent, but capital is very difficult to come by. I, have, I come from a modest background and have been able to grow multinational businesses from the modest background. But I'm not the only one. There are a lot of other young Africans who are more energetic, equally intelligent, if not even more intelligent. But access to capital is very, very difficult to come by in Africa. And that is why we are catalyzing entrepreneurship on the continent. And that is why we believe that we need to extend our hands to others and see how collectively we can make a difference on the continent. Do you, we live in Africa do, 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 and Tony, we you, have seen. Let me just you. Do, do, do you prefer sort of grants, loans, mentoring? When you look at the, the mechanisms, the financing mechanisms to help young entrepreneurs, what's your, what, what's your uh, direction? You know, Richard, I come with experience. We, for the past 12 years, have been catalyzing and supporting young African entrepreneurs. And from my interactions with them and from what we have seen, they need capital, they need mentoring, they need business education so that when the capital comes, they know how to manage the capital. And we working with individuals and institutions like UA, the UNCDF, uh, we think we can make a whole world of difference. Right. And the truth is, if you look at the joblessness and its impact on mankind and humanity, you know that we all at the global community must do something different. We must stand up now and help fight joblessness so that our future will be secure. Okay. And so what we're seeing here helps in that direction. So one of the biggest concerns at the moment, the World Bank talked about it in its report last week, you may have heard earlier in this program, uh, Vincent Reynolds, is the idea of a global recession. As interest rates go up in the developed world, emerging markets will feel the effect. Are you worried? I'm very worried. <laughs> I'm very worried. But you know, the glass is half full. What I see in the emerging market is that even though there's inflation and then interest rates go up and create more problems, we also see a lot of opportunities on the continent and most emerging markets. I think that prioritizing the young ones, investing in their future will help us to create ultimately sustainable economic prosperity for all. So what I see, I don't see despair. I see opportunity for us to do more so that we can create the kind of prosperity that will move the world towards a more boom rather than us being scared of recession. We've all seen the boom and the bust cycle. Um, every time I've been in Nigeria and in Africa, the, the sheer amount of entrepreneurship is extraordinary. Um, you know, but, 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 but I always worry, what is the key to unlock it? What do you think it is? Richard, I didn't hear you well. What is the key that unlocks the potential for these young people? You know, we need three things to unlock the potential in the young ones. First, we need the enabling environment. We need our government to help create the enabling environment that enable the young ones to succeed. Access to electricity is so difficult in Africa, and without electricity, you can't do much as an entrepreneur. So we need to fix that. Two, access to capital. Young entrepreneurs in Africa need access to capital, affordable capital, that will help them prove their concept. And that is why the Tony L. Melu Foundation will provide seed capital, non-refundable seed capital of $5,000, not because we have so much, but because we give, want to give opportunity to the young Africans to enable them to prove their concept so that collectively all of us can help to develop Africa and power Africa to prosperity. And the third thing they need, they need business education and mentoring. They need successful African business leaders for us to show example, for us to embrace them, for us to show them how to walk the path, right. and also have them leverage on our supply chain so that uh, we we'll give them a happy hand. All of us are where we are today because at some point in our business development, entrepreneurship journey, we got opportunity, we got a happy right. hand, we got a platform to support us. So that those three things will help young African entrepreneurs to do well. I'm grateful, sir.